Today we're going to talk about a new feature that we just released for the Payable Forms add-on. If you've never used the Payable Forms add-on, uh, check out our other videos and how to get started making any Google Form payable. Today we're going to talk about a feature that a lot of our customers requested uh, over the last year, and that has been the ability to manually change the order status for an order that has already been placed. Uh, sometimes you may want to cancel an order and not have a payment reminder go out, and other times you may want to mark an order as paid with an alternative payment method, something like cash or check, if still some of your users uh, want to pay the old-fashioned way as opposed to paying digitally. So we just released a feature that allows you to do this, and I'm going to walk you through that. Um, I have a sports camp form that I have set up, and all of my submissions go into my connected Google Sheet. And if you're a user of payable forms, your Google Sheet would typically look like this. You have your Google data that comes in, and then you have payable order IDs, payable totals, and then the various uh, payable data that gets populated based on um, whether or not someone has paid for your order. Uh, so before you had no way that you could update an order status. So if we look at one of these order statuses here, which is in the, in the status of checkout started, that really just means somebody has viewed the checkout page, but um, nobody has made a payment yet. What you can always do is click on the uh, order ID and then click on the link and that will open the checkout page in a new window. So you can see this checkout page is still payable. I could pay it. There's a checkout piece right here. There, this is one is connected to Square and I could enter my card number. So what if this sports camp was over and I actually or the deadline was coming up and we wanted to make sure we didn't receive any more payments. We actually wanted to stop people who had created an order. Uh, but didn't pay on time from submitting a payment too late. Uh, we get this request all the time. How can I, I stop that from happening? And so what you can do now is select a row in the Google Sheet, and you'll uh, notice that, so you select the entire row by selecting the row number. You're going to go into Extensions, Payable Forms. You should have a little menu here, uh, and then Mark Order As. Marking an order as created will put it back into a new status if it hasn't already been paid, if it doesn't have a transaction associated with it. Um, you can mark an order as free, canceled, or as we'll talk about in a second, our manual payment methods. So I'm going to mark this order as canceled. And so what this is going to do is pop up and ask me if I'm sure I want to mark one order as canceled, and I'm going to say yes. It found the order ID based on the row, and it's going to send it off to Payable to cancel that order. And if all goes well, you'll see the status was updated and the time is updated. Now if I go back to that order page and I refresh it, you're going to see that this order is canceled. Now that customer can no longer go and make a payment to it. It's blocked from them being able to do any future action on it which is uh, kind of the feature request that we've gotten over the last little while as something that people really want the ability to do. You can also select more than one. So say we wanted to cancel all of these rows here which are in checkout started. You can select three rows uh, just by holding shift and, collect and selecting all three. And then you can go back to the extensions, payable form, mark order as canceled. What this is going to do is ask me if I want to mark all three orders as canceled. You can say yes, and it will mark each one of them one at a time and step through them like that. Uh, so it is pretty simple to mark a collection of orders of, as canceled if you're approaching a deadline date in that way. You cannot mark uh, an order or can't manually update an order that already has a transaction ID associated with it, an electronic transaction ID. If we pick this row here and I try to mark it as, um, let's say mark it as paid with cash, what this is going to do is going to come back after we check and it will say, um, sadly, that this order number already has a transaction ID associated with it. So you are unable to update um, transactions that have a transaction ID. Now, if you need to refund this or your customer changed their mind, you should log into your Square portal or your PayPal portal or your Stripe portal and just click refund from within the portal. We will automatically update the status uh, to refunded once we see that the transaction has been refunded. So if you cannot um, manually update statuses for transactions that do already have a transaction ID, you would need to do that with your payment provider. 
So down here, if say this last person ended up wanting to pay by cash or pay by check or use alternative means, um, what some customers told us is that they really wanted the order to show a receipt for that user. They didn't want the order ID to stay as a checkout page. They wanted it to be marked as paid. And previously, if you just came in here and, and you, you changed the word on here to paid or something like that, each time the user viewed the page, it would automatically update and revert. So that was not a good option uh, for customers who wanted to track manual payment methods. So what you can do now is you can select a row. Uh, you can go to extensions, payable forms, mark order as, paid with cash, check, or other. I have three basic options there for you to kind of just track the different uh, pieces. So I'm going to mark this one as paid by cash. Um, it'll ask me if that's what I want to do. It will find the order ID and mark it. So once that's done, you can see we update it here, the payment method as manual cash. And if you were to view that checkout page again, which was right here, uh, your customer was to look at it, the order is properly marked off. Um, you can see manual payment date, which is the date you marked it off, and the manual payment method as cash. So um, that's just a quick overview of how these new uh, manual order adjustments work. They are all right inside of the Google Sheet, um, listed under extensions and then payable forms, mark order as. Main key is just make sure you select one or more rows. You can hold shift to select a range of rows. You know, you can select option uh, to select specific rows like that, but that's all just kind of yeah, Google stuff. So you gotta select the row and then you mark it. I hope that's helpful and I hope this helps solve some problems for those of you who are still managing manual payment methods um, or have time sensitive orders that you would like to stop. So um, if you have any other feedback or any other feature requests, uh, feel free to reach out. I hope that works and um, keep on getting paid.